Google Nana Banana Pro just came out and the results are insane. The ways in which AI leave evidence that it's AI is slowly becoming harder to spot. It makes cheating, changing the past, scamming, and fooling people much easier. Of course, it has its benefits for those who know how to use it correctly. For Photoshop 2026, Adobe announced it's partnering with Google to add Nano Banana as a third-party option in its generative fill tool. Now a new option is available and it's Nano Banana Pro. This is a paid option if you're to use it in the Google Gemini, but Adobe made it available to use in Adobe Photoshop right now. I've never seen such amazing results with this option, way better than even the already pretty good uh, first gen Nano Banana. Since it is a premium option outside of Adobe, Adobe does penalize you a bit for using this Nano Banana Pro. It costs 10 credits per generation for one to 2000 resolution and 16 credits for 4000 resolution. Creative Cloud Pro gives you 4,000 generations per month. Adobe Creative Pro does cost $70 a month in my area, so you're definitely paying for it. So you might as well use some of those credits and experiment with this tool. So I wanna play a little game with you. I generated most of these images using Google Nano Banana Pro with the exception of one or two. I wanna see if you can tell me which one is generated with AI and which one is a real photograph. I did this with my husband and he failed miserably. Let's see how you do. Please write in the comments how many you got right. I will let you know how to tell the difference between real and AI after each round. Now we're gonna start off with one of the easier ones. This is one of the only ones my husband got right. Sorry, honey. So which one do you think is real and which one do you think is AI? Let's give you a few seconds to think about it. And it's all about zooming in. So if you're not able to zoom in, it's very difficult to tell if it's AI or not. From first glance, I would think maybe the one on the right. It looks almost too good with the lighting that's really nice. And I'm not an astronaut, so I don't know if her equipment is correct or not. It seems kind of complicated in the front. But then again, the one on the left seems very convincing. But let's zoom in and find out which one's real and which one's not. So if we zoom in to the one that looks like it's taken from the 80s, it's very believable because there were women in the early 80s that were starting to train in the astronaut program. But take a look at this badge. Typography in text is where AI still struggles, even with Nano Banana Pro. It's the only thing I can ever catch it with 100% accuracy is when it comes to typography. It's not absolutely crisp and clear. You could tell with a NASA badge. Also up here, you could tell there's little holes, almost like it's worn, but I can tell it just struggled with the typography and that's not the official logo. Also, if you look at this guy's face, they must be twins because it's the exact same guy. So if you have the same exact guy, what are the odds of having twins in the space program? Probably very minimal, but it's very impressive. Look at the ceiling, look at the wood paneling. The details are quite good. And at first glance, I would think this was a real documented photo. The one on the right is an, a real photo, and the one on the left is AI. Were you surprised? Let's go to the next one. Let's get a little bit harder with this one. So here you have two standard movie sets, one with Tom Cruise on the left, and the other one with Pedro Pascal and some other famous actors. Which movie set is real and which one is fake? And this might be a trick question. So I want you to take a look, and they look really convincing. So let's take a look because the only way to really tell is to zoom in and look at the textures. So this one's super convincing. Look at this camera work, look at the green screen, look at the sky. You can't really tell. Look at this building, it's not warped, it's not distorted. This looks surprisingly good. Take a look at this flooring. There's not any mistakes in the flooring. If you look at, uh, at the shoes, you can't really see too many errors until, aha, look at this edge here. That's a total AI generated image. Also, the more you zoom in, you can see this repeated texture, almost like a computational texture right here when you zoom in across all of the tile. That is not natural. That is a not a natural texture. So all of a sudden, when you zoom in, you start to see all the little mistakes. Uh, maybe he has a missing finger, but you could just say, well, it's bending one way. So when you zoom out, you can't really tell, but when you zoom in, you can. There's also, actually, this was a photo posted on Reddit, like a real or AI Reddit form. And there was a lot of professional camera people that pointed out tons of issues with this camera. So when you are in the business of movie making, you could see tons of mistakes. Also, someone pointed out that the screen screen isn't exactly the same angle appearing here that it actually is showing. And the biggest giveaway for me, or what most people would be able to spot, is up here in the scaffolding. There is some really strange wiring and bending of 
the wires. So that was a dead giveaway. But when you zoom out, <laughs> this is so convincing. But when you zoom in, you can always tell. What about the one on the left? This one's pretty convincing. I mean, he does look about his age. Maybe this is a seven-year-old photograph or a 10-year-old photograph of him filming something for Mission Impossible. Well, wow, this looks pretty good. The little details left. See this man holding the photo? We have the wires, a lot of natural human-like details left. You can even see them snacking on set with uh, uh, biscuits and coffee. And you even have this little logo on his jacket and even a pin. This all seems super convincing until you realize this one's also AI. Once again, the camera, that camera doesn't exist in real life. You could do a reverse image search, to try to find this camera, and you won't be able to find it because it does not exist at all. But this one was probably one of the harder ones. There's not this mega obvious uh, way that it's AI. But as you could tell, Google Nano Banana really rocked this in almost a very scary way. So yeah, they're both AI. Uh, but the one on the left is actually way more convincing when you zoom in. So really scary. All right, all you creative people, let's do one that applies to you. One of these is a real sketch and one of this is AI. Which one is which? I'll give you a moment to think about it. Look at all the details and I'll zoom in on some of these so you can see it. Well, they both look like sketches. Let's take a look at this one on the left. It could be AI, but it's hard to tell. This looks pretty genuine. If it's AI, I'd be really scared. There's lots of leading lines. There's lots of human kind of experimentation with trying to figure out the shapes of the typography. I don't know, it's pretty close. Let's have up the other one. That looks really convincing with that worn down, chewed up pencil. But is it too chewed up? I mean, who actually has a pencil that's that bad? What about, uh, that looks like a really, 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 really oddly shaped eraser. But the sketches themselves, are a little too crisp. I see these leading lines, which makes me kind of think, well, maybe this is real because those leading lines, how can an AI do that? You know, that's only something a sketch person does to try to figure out the sym symmetry. Either this is a really talented sketcher or it's too symmetrical. Even the little dust that's left by, the little pencil dust is really, or eraser dust is really convincing. So which one is which? Okay, so the one on the left is actually a student of mine Amber Axelton, she did this as part of a branding project. So the one on the left is real and the one on the right is absolutely AI. It's got kind of a super dark tone to the sketches. So usually pencil doesn't have this dark color and only someone who's sketched a lot in their life will kind of be able to identify that. And that's gonna be the issue with AI is only industry experts and in what you're looking at can be able to go, you know what, I think that's, that's fake. Uh, it just looks a little too polished to me. Who doesn't like a good game of chess? One of these is real, and one of this is generated by Google Nano Banana Pro. Which one? I'll give you a few seconds to figure it out. Okay, so at first glance, this one on the right seems very AI generated. It's super polished and has this hyper reflection, almost like it was generated with a really good 3D program like Blender. And when I zoom in, I can see some details of the horse that looks very weird and it does remind me of AI. And let's take a look at the other one. The other one seems kind of natural. Um, I'm seeing kind of some wood pieces that are kind of chipped off. It just has a lot of natural texture. And if you see how the light is hitting it and reflecting, it seems a very, very, very natural. And the pieces seem like they have a organic natural texture. There's even um, a background that looks convincing with some coasters, some stacked books, and a coffee cup. So which one is real and which one is AI? Now this one fooled everybody I tried. So the one on the left is actually AI generated by Google Nana Banana Pro. And the one on the right is a photograph. It's been brightened a little bit in Photoshop, but it is mostly an intact original image. Does that surprise you? Does that shock you in any way? Did you get fooled? So here we have two seemingly normal pictures of fruit, but one of these is fake AI and one of this is a real photograph. Now, which one do you think is AI? And which one do you think is a real photograph? And I promise they're not both AI. They both look like AI, but let's take a look at this one on the right. It seems super glossy, almost a little too glossy. It almost feels like it's glossy for no reason. It just has that extra shine that does, feels a little bit artificial. The table itself and the texture looks pretty convincing. The bowl, nothing else is really misshapened. 
this could be real fruit. AI has a hard time with stems and finding out where those things go on fruit. It's kind of convincing, but that glossiness is throwing me off. Okay, what about this one on the left? I mean, I think the way it was maybe taken in the 80s or the late 90s or something, it's got a very convincing refrigerator. It's got some medicine on the countertop. A lot of things you would just see in a random kitchen. Even the magnets are intact. There's a piece of paper on there. It all looks convincing. The shadow's correct because the light is coming from the top and shining down. And it even has this August 14th, 96. It would really match up with a 96 kind of uh, kitchen. So let me zoom in and see if I can see if this is AI or real. Oh, I think I found it. Look, see this little sticker? If it wasn't for that sticker, I would have a hard time figuring out if this was AI or not. But once again, stickers, logo, badges, and typography is really hard for AI to generate. So that does not look natural, but everything else does. And that is really tricky. So the one on the right is a real photograph, which I found on Wikipedia. And the one on the left was generated with Google Nano Banana. So which one of these photos is real and which one is AI? They both seem like they were taken in the 50s or 60s. They're on a car. The one on the left seems super oversaturated for a photo, but it could have been color corrected. The one on the right seems pretty convincing, but which one is AI and which one is real? Okay, the one on the right is generated with Google Nano Banana, so it is AI, and the one on the left is the real photo. Are you surprised? Did anything about the features of the faces trick you into thinking it was AI? So this one is a little bit different. This is a real birthday picture of a cake I took, and it's of my son and my niece's birthday. Did they turn nine and seven, or did they turn eight and six? That would be the big question. One of these is modified using Google Nano Banana, where just one element was changed, which would be the birthday candles. Now, which one is more convincing? I think the tricky part about this one, let's zoom into this one on the left. So you have this kind of weird looking thing with the nine happening, almost like it's broken and it doesn't seem supernatural. So my first instinct would be say, okay, this is the AI generated image. And let's go over to the other one. So this starts to look almost too polished. If you look at it, there's almost no mistakes, not even a little bit of texture from the wax of the candle. That makes me think that this is definitely the AI generated photo. And if that's the one you guessed, they were turning nine and seven, you are correct, that's the real photo. And the fake one and the modified one is the eight and six. It is scary how we can change photos from the past and give people an entirely different narrative of what happened. This could be really scary. We can say that we dated people we never dated, or we have a receipt for a product we never bought. This is the scary part about AI. One more bonus round just for fun. Is this a real photo or is it AI generated by Nano Banana? At first glance, very uh, convincing reflection. Look at how everything is reflected. That seems very authentic and real. Look at how it's raining outside and you could see the rain on the, on the streets. The cars, they look pretty normal, although is that the same car back to back? I don't know. I'm starting to doubt myself whether it's real or not. Her hair seems convincing. The lighting, everything seems really natural. Look at the detail of the knitting too. I can't find a mistake in the knitting. But as always, let's find any type of typography or font or text that we can. What is braiding sweetgrass? Don't know what that is, but that typography does not look natural. Everything else about it's too small for me to read, but that is the giveaway. That's honestly the only giveaway in this entire photo. You can zoom in and look around yourself, but it is hard to find another reason. So if she wasn't holding a book, if she was holding something without text, it, this would be very hard to, to, to find out if it's real or AI. But yeah, this is, this is AI. I hope you enjoyed this little deep dive into trying to figure out what is real and what is fake. So it's getting harder and harder and Google Nano Banana, the stuff I generated from there with very simple one sentence prompts was quite incredible and quite convincing. And I could see in another year or two, we're gonna erase all those little AI artifacts and it's gonna be very difficult without having a super trained eye. So continue to train that eye, zoom in at 800% and look at those fine details, textures, patterns, consistencies, and definitely typography. Please leave a comment below if you enjoyed this and how many you got right, or if you got any wrong. Are you surprised about any of them? See you in the next video.